Hey everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you the top five best free Microsoft Office alternatives. I used to work at Microsoft as a program manager and I worked on Microsoft Office. And I love Microsoft Office, but it does come with a cost. It costs $70 for subscription and you pay that every single year. If you just want to write a document, or maybe you want to run some basic calculations, there are free alternatives that can do all of that extremely well. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's check out some of these free options. This brings us to our very first Microsoft Office alternative, and that's WPS Office. You can get it at WPS.com. WPS stands for Writer Presentations Spreadsheets. It has all of the core applications. It was also previously known as Kingsoft Office. It's been around for almost as long as Microsoft Office has been around. It also happens to be one of the most popular and installed apps on Windows PCs. It works on all major platforms. To download WPS on the homepage, simply click on this free download button. When you launch WPS Office, you'll land in an interface that looks like this. And first, I wanna start with what I like about WPS Office. Here, if I jump into the document experience, you'll find that it's very similar to Microsoft Word. Here, right up at the top, I have access to this ribbon. And I also have a similar set of tabs on the top as what I would find in Microsoft Word. So if you know how to use Word or PowerPoint or Excel, you'll also very quickly learn how to use WPS. Also, along with that, if you have any existing files created in Microsoft Office, you can very easily open those in WPS Office. It accepts all the same file formats. Another thing I like, up here on the top, you'll see this tab structure. So it borrows this concept from a browser. So let's say that I have a spreadsheet and I'm feeding information into a document. I can very quickly jump back and forth between these different files. Also back on the main interface, another thing that's really nice about WPS, they go really deep into different PDF capabilities. Here I could start a new PDF file, I could open PDF files, I could also use any one of these different PDF tools. Overall, WPS Office sounds really solid. What is there not to like? Well, WPS is a freemium app. That means that throughout the experience, you'll see little upsells sprinkled in. Here, for example, when I click into the document start page, you'll notice that some of these templates have a diamond icon. If I wanna use these, I have to pay some money to gain access to these. By using the free version of WPS, I'll also occasionally see ads within the experience. And to target those ads, WPS uses third-party tracking. All in all though, WPS is an excellent offering and if you're willing to put up with some ads and upsells here and there, this works as a great office suite. This now brings us to the second best free alternative to Microsoft Office, and that's LibreOffice. This is an open source project, and it also works across all major platforms. To get LibreOffice, head to LibreOffice.org, and on the homepage, click on Download Now. First, I wanna start with what I like about LibreOffice. You get a ton of value all for free. You get six different apps included. Here's LibreOffice Writer. This is the Microsoft Word equivalent. I also get a spreadsheet app. Here you have a PowerPoint equivalent called Impress. I also get a database app. This is like Microsoft Access. And then you get two bonuses. Here you have LibreOffice Math, which allows you to write math equations. And you even have a vector shape drawing app called LibreOffice Draw. And you can even use this as a PDF editor. These apps work across Windows, Mac, and Linux, and they are truly free. There are no ads, there's no tracking, and there are no upsells like you would find in WPS Office. Within LibreOffice, it's fully compatible with all Office file formats, so I could open a Word document in LibreOffice Writer without any issues. These are very powerful applications, and I have a ton of functionality throughout all of these different menus. 
So what do I not like about LibreOffice? Well, when you look at the interface, it just looks a little bit more dated. I don't have access to a ribbon, so if I want to access functionality, I have to dig through these different menus to find what I want to do. Also, I can't collaborate with others on a document in real time. Instead, I have to save the document, send it to someone else, and then they could send it back. So that feels a little bit old fashioned. However, once again, this is completely free, so it's hard to complain. All in all, LibreOffice is a very capable and good office suite. This brings us to Microsoft Office alternative number three, and that's Google Drive. To access Google Drive, you can head to the website drive.google.com, and that'll drop you in this interface here. Over on the top left-hand corner, you can click on this new icon and you can kick off a new document, a new sheet, or a new slide. Let's click into document. Let's start with what I like. Here you'll find a very simple, intuitive, and modern design, and it surfaces all of the most used core capabilities. Because Google Drive is on the web, you'll also find that it has excellent collaboration capabilities. So let's say you wanna work with multiple people on a document. You can simply go up to the top right-hand corner and you can share this document with any number of people. Because you access Google Drive on the web, you also don't have to install anything and you can access your documents on any computer. Because Google Drive is on the web, you might worry though, what happens when I don't have internet access? Well, right here, you can click on this gear, click into settings, and there's the option to set it so you can continue editing your docs, sheets, and slides even when you're offline. Another thing I like too is although it appears that you only have a limited number of capabilities here, if you click into add-ins, you can access and extend the functionality of Drive with hundreds and hundreds of different add-in options. Google Drive is an excellent alternative to Microsoft Office. So what are some of the downsides? One thing you'll find is that it's just not quite as feature rich as what you find in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Although it has 80% of the functionality as what you would find in Microsoft Office, it's that 20% that's missing that'll sometimes block you when you're trying to get work done. Also, you don't have access to a ribbon on top, so here too, to find functionality, you'll find that you have to dig through these different menus. This brings us to the fourth alternative, and this is Zoho Docs. You can access it at zoho.com. I've also included a link in the description down below. On the homepage up in the top right hand corner, click on get started and over here on top to access the free version, click on this radio button for Zoho Docs and then you'll need to fill out your name, email and a password and then click on sign up. Once you finish signing up for Zoho Docs, on the main page in the top left hand corner, you can create a new document, a spreadsheet or a presentation. Let's start with what I like about Zoho Docs. I get access to a full set of different Office productivity apps. Here I have an authoring tool. I also have a spreadsheet and I could create presentations. And because all of these are built on the web, I don't have to install anything to use these. As another advantage as well, because they are web-based, here I could very easily share a file with others and so I could work together on say creating this document. Once I'm finished with my document, I could click up here to publish my document so then I could distribute this out to a larger audience. Also, over on the left-hand side, I have access to a rich set of functionality. Here within a document, I could insert, let's say, a video, a QR code, a signature. So there's lots of rich functionality that you won't even always find in, say, Microsoft Word. So what do I not like about Zoho Docs? Well, here when we look at the document experience, you'll see the navigations over on the left-hand side. When I jump into the spreadsheet, it looks more like the Google experience. And here when I jump into presentation, here again, the interface changes. So it's not really a cohesive design. In fact, it feels like different teams worked on each one of these different experiences. So it's gonna take you a little bit of time to become accustomed to this interface, especially if you're coming over from Microsoft Office. Also, although you don't have to install anything, and that's one of its strengths, let's say you go offline, you won't be able to access your different documents. Also, from looking through the different menus and the different features, it's not quite as rich as what you would find in Microsoft Office. 
This now brings us to our fifth and final free alternative to Microsoft Office, and that's SoftMaker's Free Office. You can get this at freeoffice.com. On the homepage, you can click on free download and that'll kick off the download. One thing I've found though is the download does take a little bit of time, so you'll have to be a little bit patient. Let's start with what I like about free office, and what I like begins with the installation process. You could decide to install just one of the applications, or you could decide to install all of the applications. You get access to three different apps. Here you have a Word equivalent, you also get a spreadsheet app, and you can also create presentations, so you get all of the core applications. And as you install, you also have the option to go with this ribbon interface, or you could go with the traditional menus. Here, I opted to go with the ribbon just so it would look more similar to what I'm used to with Microsoft Office. Overall, you have lots of rich functionality within these different applications. Here, I could click through some of the tabs and you'll see some of the functionality that you have available to you. So what do I not like about free Office? Well, one of the deal breakers for me is there's no dictionary or thesaurus. So let's say you're writing a document and you misspell a few things. Well, TextMaker's not gonna tell you, so you better hope that your spelling is rock solid. Also, there's no cloud support. So if you wanna say co-author a document with others, well, you won't be able to do that. Hopefully by now, one of these free options will work for you, but maybe you really just wanna use Microsoft Office, but you don't want to pay. Luckily, Microsoft offers Office entirely for free through the website office.com. On the office.com homepage, you can log in with a Microsoft account, and if you don't yet have a Microsoft account, you can also sign up for the free version by clicking on this text. Once you sign in to office.com, over on the left-hand side, you can click on this create icon and you can launch into a new document, a spreadsheet, or a presentation. There are also a few other types that you can create as well. Here, I'll click into Microsoft Word. Here on the Word Start page, I could start a new document, I could start with one of these templates, or I could get back to recent files. I'll click into a new blank document. Let's start with what I like about Office on the web. I can edit Office files entirely for free, and it has a very similar interface to what I would find in the desktop apps. And in fact, sometimes features hit the web apps before they even hit the desktop apps. And here too, if I wanna work with others in real time, I can share the document and then work together with my teammates. So what is there not to like? Well, what you'll find is some of the features in the desktop apps just aren't on the web yet. So there's a little bit of a feature gap. Also, if I decide I wanna work offline, these apps only work when I have internet connectivity. All right, well, those are the free alternatives. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would you ever sign up for a subscription of Microsoft Office when you have all of these free options? So Microsoft is offering a lot more than just Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. When you sign up for a subscription, you get cloud storage space. You get one terabyte of space in OneDrive. Also, if you're using something like PowerPoint, you could take advantage of AI services. You get all these different design suggestions to help make your slides look better. Also, if you're using Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you could insert free stock images, stock videos. That's also included. If you want to know more about, well, what do you actually get with a Microsoft 365 subscription, I've included a link to a video that goes a lot more in depth in the description. But once again, if you just want the core fundamentals, these free options work extremely well. All right, let me know down below in the comments, will you be using one of these free options? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you.